and welcome back. As I'm sure many of you have heard, the iconic gum that's been bringing kids joy for decades is finally coming to an end. So today, with a heavy heart, join me as we look back on the one-of-a-kind gum strip tattoo combo that was Zebra Gum. Fruit Strike Gum was originally invented in 1960 by a man named James Parker who worked for the Beech Nut Company. The gum was immediately a success among many children and parents, mainly due to their very kid-friendly marketing. And while I'm sure many of you watching probably assume that the zebra mascot, Yipes, is synonymous with the brand itself, but what if I told you he wasn't the original mascot for the company? In the late 1960s, Fruit Stripe introduced its first mascot, an anthropomorphic pack of gum named the Fruit Stripe Gum Man. I know, it's not the most creative, but it worked for the time. So much so that they even released a stretch toy version of him. They also introduced the Stripes Animal Family shortly after, which contained a mouse, tiger, elephant, and zebra. The zebra quickly became the fan favorite and was given the classic saying, Yipe Stripes. The original gum came in five iconic flavors, cherry, lemon, orange, mixed berry, and lime. Check out this vintage commercial for their original product line. Stripes, stripe, beech nuts, got them. Yipes, stripe, and fruit stripe gum. Yipes, stripes, five different flavors. Get beech nut fruit stripe gum. Not to mention five different colors. Cherry stripe, lemon stripe. Orange too. Mixed fruit and lime stripe. The other distinct feature with the gum is the iconic tattoo on the wrapper. There's not a lot of public reasoning available as to why they decided to make this move, but it's theorized that they were just copying Cracker Jack, who had massive success with their revolutionary temporary tattoos. There is a line on the Wikipedia page that says they also introduced a chocolate stripe flavor in the 70s, but after doing some research on some old blog posts, it seems like whoever wrote that was confusing it with the Adams Ice Cream Sunday flavored gum sticks, which are said to also have had stripes. While it was hard to find a specific date, it appears around the late 1980s Leaf Brands acquired the Fruit Stripe brand as part of a much larger swale between Leaf Brands and Beatrice Foods. It would be around this time, based on this commercial from 1991, that this was when the original five flavors were changed and Yipes the Zebra became the sole mascot for the brand. In a 2021 interview with Chris Callis, the associate brand manager for Ferrera Candy, about Yipes he said, Fruit Stripe originally had several different animal characters represented over the years, but Yipes took the leading role due to his authentic connection to the brand's namesake, Striped Appearance. After Yipes was selected to be the solo mascot for Fruit Stripe, the other animals stayed with the company until they retired. While they are in retirement now, it is possible that they could come back for a future reunion tour. Sadly, we now know that will never happen. It was a new era for Fruit Stripe. The five flavors were changed to Wet n Wild Melon, Cherry, Lemon, Orange, and Peach Mash. And Yipes was now represented to be a cool, relatable dude. In the same interview I just mentioned, Chris Callis described Yipes' personality as a consummate professional with an eye for fashion. You can always count on him to have a styled mane and vintage threads. Despite his world-renowned success, he is still the same down-to-earth zebra he was when he first started out in the office. Yipes loves to play many different sports including soccer, football, surfing, skating, and tennis. He is an outdoorsman who loves to be in nature when he is not dominating opponents in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Pretty intense branding for a company that's just gonna kill him off three years. That's besides the point. During the 2000s, Fruit Stripe would plateau in sales, with your average commercial here and there, but they were pretty cemented in the minds of American children. And there was that one time in 1996 when Fruit Stripe donated 5 cents of every jumbo pack of gum they sold, totaling around $100,000, to the World Wildlife Fund to help preserve endangered species. There was also their Fruit Stripe Bubblegum product line, which came in its own 5 flavors, those being cherry, grape, mixed fruit, lemon, and cotton candy. Although as hard as I tried, I couldn't find an exact product launch for the bubblegum. But the latest product we ever received from Fruit Stripe were the Fruit Stripe Gummy Candies in March 2022. It was the first and only time the company would ever branch out of gum territory. They came in three flavors, cherry, lemon, and tangerine, and lasted just barely over a year. So what happened? 
Why did Ferrara create a new product and have plans for a rebranding just to cancel it less than two years later? Why didn't they just sell it off to another company like it had been for years prior? Well, in a statement to Food & Wine magazine, Ferrara legal chief Andrew Oppenheimer, yes, that's really his last name, said, We have to make the difficult decision to sunset fruit stripe gum. We did not take the decision lightly and considered many factors before coming to this decision, including consumer preferences and purchasing patterns. And that's it. There hasn't been much else said by the company except that you should just check out the other products in their impressive portfolio. So, let's take a look ourselves and maybe theorize as to why this happened. Let's start with the reason Ferrara themselves gave the consumer market. Well, in an article published by The Atlantic, they reported between 2009 and 2015, gum sales in stores had gone down 4.7% in North America, which might not seem like a big number at first, but if you're used to selling, let's say a million sticks of gum, and you lost 47,000 of those sales, you definitely start to raise an eyebrow. And that's not even the worst of it. Right as gum was slightly starting to go back to normal sales, the pandemic hit. And this killed gum sales. I mean, think about it. When you were going through whatever you had to go through during the pandemic, were you ever thinking about gum? No, probably not. And this led to a 32% sales decline between 2018 and 2022 in the North American gum market. Now, if you thought losing 47,000 of that 1 million was bad, imagine losing 320,000 of it, and within a much smaller time frame. Safe to say, gum companies were definitely starting to sweat. Wrigley closed one of their own factories in 2016, and in 2022, Mondelez sold off most of their North American brands, including Denton and Trident. Even with sites like Statista saying that gum sales are expected to just be shy of 50 billion in 2025, it wasn't enough for Ferrari to hold on to Fruit Stripe. Which leads us to the last question I have, why didn't they just sell it off? Well, probably for a few reasons, let's theorize. One is wild money. I tried really hard in advanced search Google to figure out how much Ferrara spent on Fruit Stripe and other brands, but sadly I kept coming up short. But we can't imagine it was a pretty penny. Now, if we go back to how Ferrara announced the discontinuation, you'll remember they say to try their other products. Which leads me to believe that the other brands they acquired in the same deal that they got Fruit Stripe were doing pretty well and they probably wanted to keep those going. So do we try to sell Fruit Stripe alone as one brand which has been seeing dying sales for a decade? No, no one would buy that. So there would be no foreseeable way for Fryer to get their money back with Fruit Stripe. The other reason is maybe they're just playing into nostalgia. I mean, they just released a new product in 2022, and while the pandemic severely injured the gum market, it didn't kill it. So maybe they thought they were not getting a lot of sales back, but we know that this is a beloved product. So what if we pull it off the shelves, let people reminisce about it for a while, and just when they think they forgot all about it, boom, cruise shapes are back in the stores. But hey, that's just a theory. Looking back, we get to see the story of a product that was meant for kids stay for kids, and that's pretty cool. While Fruit Stripe has had many different homes and is now in retirement, we can appreciate all the short bursts of flavor we got out of them, and not to mention the cool tattoos. I mean, name another company that does that. Well, whatever. And boy, I will never ever forget this absolute legend. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you all watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, comment some of your favorite Fruit Stripe memories. And look forward to the next look back video on February 18th. Peace.